In this course, we're going to be looking at the Skywatcher Star Adventure Mini, also known as the SAM. And this is by far the smallest and lightest star tracker on the market. And it's also the only one that's going to be completely controlled by your smartphone. So if you've got your smartphone with you, you can control this thing at any time. And there's no other star tracker on the market like it. So in this course, we're going to break down everything you need to know about the Star Adventure Mini here, including the optional components, how to do different time-lapse modes, how to do your polar alignment, and even post-processing once you capture your images. Next, let's cover what you actually get for the $300 right out of the box. So of course you're going to get the Mini here, and you're also going to get the ball head mounting adapter here. And this will just screw right into the camera mount like so, and once you take this off you can attach your ball head directly to the screw, and then from there your camera. So that's an essential piece there. Uh, normally that retails for $15 if you want to get an extra one. So that's your main package there. You're also going to get the polar scope and it comes with a pretty nice polar scope which you can see right here and uh, you're also going to get the polar finder illuminator which will fit on the end of your polar scope and that's going to allow you to uh, have a red light function while you're using the polar scope at night so that's everything you're getting in the just standard $300 package and frankly I would recommend you take a look at some of the accessories because you're going to definitely want those the first accessory to look at here is the Skywatcher wedge which is uh, this whole piece right here. Now, without this wedge, you're gonna have to attach the mini here directly to your ball head instead. And if you're trying to do a polar alignment at night, it's gonna be very difficult to get the North Star exactly where you need it to. So therefore, I highly recommend that everybody definitely get the wedge. It costs $65, uh, but it's really nicely designed and well-built. And this is really gonna help with any kind of polar alignment processing. Now you can also optionally get the declination bracket here, which retails for $40. And this would go right on the front of the Mini instead of the ball head adapter that I showed you earlier. You can also get the counterweight kit for an additional $30. So for the bundle here, you'd be looking at $70. And this counterweight kit would screw in directly to the bottom of the declination bracket. And that's gonna help if you have a bigger camera setup or mainly if you wanna use a telephoto lens at night. Now personally, I don't actually recommend getting the counterweight kit and the declination bracket might even be a bit overkill. Now the reason I'm saying that is because the camera mount here is only rated for 6.6 .6 pounds and if you try and put any more than that on you're going to seriously strain the gears in there and you're not going to get a successful Star Trek image. Therefore uh, if you're going to buy all this extra stuff uh, you're probably going to be well over the six pound limit and therefore you're just not going to get the results you want. So therefore uh, if you already got them you can always use the declination bracket and you can try using the counterweight as well but uh, in my experience, it's going to really strain the, the gears here and everything, and you don't want to do that. So, uh, for most people, this standard camera mount is going to be just fine. Again, you're going to screw your ball head on here, and then from there, you can attach a pretty heavy camera setup. Let's say a Nikon D750 with a Nikon 14 24 millimeter lens. And when you're weighing out your camera gear, you always want to include any ball heads you're using or L brackets, and provided all of your gear, lenses, camera, L brackets, and ball head is under 6.6 .6 pounds, you should be just fine. So if you want to do a heavier camera setup or use like a 70 200 millimeter lens, you're probably going to go, want to go with the Star Adventure instead, which is rated for 11 pounds. And that Star Tracker features a clutch mechanism here where the camera mount is, and that's going to allow you to get uh, much more stable results using a heavy setup. Next, let's talk about the Skywatcher Star Adventure Mini by itself. So it's a pretty simplistic design. We only actually have one button here on the top. This is the power button. So if you turn this uh, for about a half second, hold it down, uh, the red light should turn on and then your green light should start flashing. Now that indicates that the Wi-Fi network has been turned on and at that point you're going to be able to connect to the uh, SAM here using your smartphone. On the side we have an input for a snap cable and also a USB input. Now the snap cable is going to allow you to connect your uh, camera directly to the star tracker and the reason you'd want to do that is because by using the app you can actually set the interval on your camera. So that's perfect for those of you who let's say have a Nikon D3400 and you don't have an intervalometer built in. Now you don't have to go out and buy an, an additional uh, intervalometer remote. So that's great. Uh, but for everybody else, if you already have an intervalometer built into your camera or you have an external remote already, uh, you don't really need to necessarily worry about the snap cable. We also have the USB input and that's going to be used to charge uh, or rather power the star tracker while you're running it. So for example, if you're near a power source, uh, let's say by your house and you're using the mini here, you can uh, keep this thing running just by using the USB cable. Now, while we're talking about battery, if we flip it over, we have the battery compartment here. And if I open this up, you'll see that this takes two AA batteries. 
And in my experience, the runtime will last you multiple nights in a row without any problems. And that's really all there is to the SAM here. It's a very simplistic device, which in a way is very nice. You don't have a bunch of different buttons and dials and things to worry about. Now on the back, we have a screw hole here. This is giving you a lot of flexibility. You can always uh, attach your Star Adventure facing up like this. And the reason you want to do, to do that is, let's say you want to do a horizontal time lapse. You can loosen the camera mount, and then as you rotate it around, the camera is going to pan horizontally. Uh, and that's one of the great features of the Mini here, is that you have a lot of unique time lapse features that you're not necessarily going to get with the other star trackers. On the bottom, of course, we have the dovetail plate, and this is what allows you to just slide this right onto your wedge here. And that's about it. Of course, on the front, we've got the uh, camera mount. And one last thing before I forget, we also have these two notches on the top. And that's just to do a quick sight of Polaris uh, when you're doing your polar alignment. So you'd look through there and see if you could see the North Star somewhere in there. But usually that's kind of hard to do, but at least they included it for you. Next, let's talk about the wedge because, again, this is something I highly recommend that everybody get because it's going to make your life a lot easier at night. So the wedge here is just this red piece. And uh, we've got a knob on the back that's going to adjust for our latitude. So when you're using your wedge here, what you want to do is find your current latitude, and then you're going to dial that in here on these numbers just by loosening the screw. And then at that point, you can rotate the knob back here. And let's say I'm at 35 degrees north. I would just rotate this until I'm at 35. And at that point, the mini should be angled up at the same uh, angle as the North Star. So if I put this up like that, now it should be facing up at the North Star, provided I'm pointing north, of course. And we also have two screws on the front here. So these two screws will allow you to uh, move the star tracker left and right. And we're going to show you how to do all this later on. But uh, again, this is a really nice base that's going to allow you to do your polar alignment very easily and very accurately as well. There's also a bubble level here on the mount, which is going to be perfect uh, to try and get a flat level surface, because that's one of the most important things about doing your polar alignment is, of course, having a flat, even surface. Now that we've covered all the actual components, there's obviously one last very important thing we need to talk about, and that is the smartphone capabilities. So once you turn on the Star Adventure Mini, it should start uh, broadcasting its own Wi-Fi network. And at that point, you can pull out your smartphone and connect directly to the Mini's Wi-Fi. So I'm going to pull up my Wi-Fi here, and it should be listed as SynScan Wi-Fi and a series of numbers and letters. And if you don't see it there, make sure the green light is flashing, and make sure that the uh, Star Watcher has a fresh set of batteries. And uh, at that point, you can connect directly to the Wi-Fi. Now, in my experience, I had serious trouble actually connecting. And what we figured out was that in order to connect, at least on an Android phone, you want to turn your camera, or your phone rather, first to airplane mode. And when you're on airplane mode, that's going to disable your internet connection using LTE or whatever. Uh, so if you're having troubles connecting, make sure uh, you put your phone on airplane mode first. Then enable the Wi-Fi and connect to the SynScan network. Next, you're going to need the SAM console app, which is a free download you can get on both Android and iPhone. Now, of course, if you've just connected to the Wi-Fi network on here, you're not going to be able to download it. So uh, before you do that, you'll probably want to get the app. And once you open up the app, you're going to see a whole series of options. But the first thing you want to do is go down to the lower left where it says Not Connected. And it should find your uh, device there. And you should be able to click on it. And at that point, you will be uh, connected to your Skywatcher Mini. Now, as you can see in here, we have a whole lot of different options, including different time-lapse modes, manual control. I'm going to look at all those in future videos, but at least now you see how you can connect directly to the Mini. Now that we've covered all the different components in this video, in the following videos, we're going to look at how to actually use the Skywatcher Star Adventure Mini. So we're going to look at the different time-lapse modes, how to do your polar alignment, how to do your polar alignment during the day if you want to track the sun, for example, and uh, pretty much everything else you need to know about this Skywatcher Star Adventure Mini.